Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another leveling video for you. In this video, I'll show you a pretty unique way of leveling that I don't think a lot of people know about, and that's through the pet battling quests. It isn't the fastest by any means, but it's really unique, so I thought it was worth making a video about. It is definitely the fastest in terms of the amount of play time for the character you're leveling, not counting Recruit a Friend or that level 100 boost, of course. Anyways, there are four different pet battle quests you can get that have a really special property, and that's the fact that you can turn them in on any character on your account through your quest log. In this video, I'm going to show you how I leveled a character all the way from 60 to 100 without ever having left town. We'll need some XP elixirs for this method. There are two that we're interested in, and that's the Elixir of Ancient Knowledge and the Elixir of the Rapid Mind. You can get the Elixir of Ancient Knowledge from the rare mob Crawl the Blade, located at 7420 in the Dread Wastes in Pandaria. This elixir only lasts until level 85, so if you're looking to level a character that's above that, you can skip this one without penalty. The second XP elixir we want is the Elixir of the Rapid Mind. You can get this from either your Garrison Missions or the Auction House. These elixirs give you a bonus 300% to your XP gained, and they also stack. So what we're going to do for this video is complete all of these pet battle quests on one character, then log into the character you want to level, pop those two XP potions, then quickly turn in those quests from our quest log, then log out. The duration of those elixirs freeze whenever you log out, so our goal is to get dozens and dozens of levels in the duration of just one of those elixirs each. Also, we want to be sure we log out in a rested area so we don't have to wait for that 20 second timer. Specifically, the best place for that is Shatrath City, and I'll explain why later. There are some requirements for this method. First is you have to be Alliance. Unfortunately, Horde get left out on this one. And second is you have to have unlocked some quests through the pet battling quest line. There are five daily quests in total that we're interested in. First, let's cover Bill Buckler, Eric Davidson, Lindsay, and Old McDonald. You can find Bill Buckler at coordinates 5173 in the Cape of Stranglethorn, Eric Davidson at 2045 in Duskwood, Lindsay at 3353 in the Red Ridge Mountains, and Old MacDonald at 6119 in Westfall. All of these NPCs offer daily pet battle quests, and like I said, you have to be alliance to be able to pick them up. Not only that, but you have to unlock them first by completing the quest chain that introduces you to pet battling. You start this quest chain by talking to Audrey Burnhep at coordinates 6925 in Stormwind, and when you first encounter these quests, they'll be one time only. To unlock them as daily quests, you have to follow that quest chain all the way until the end until you get the Taming Eastern Kingdoms achievement. Only then can you fight these four NPCs on a daily basis. I'll have a link to that quest chain in the description if you have trouble finding it. It is quite long, but it is worth it. And there's one final quest we're interested in, and that's Marulu the Elder, located at 5970 in Shatrath City. Once again, to unlock his daily quest, you have to complete the Taming Outland achievement, similar to the Taming Eastern Kingdoms achievement. And you get that by following that same quest chain you picked up earlier. His quest is a little different, though. It's still account-wide, but you can't turn it in through the quest log. This is why I said we need to have our leveling character in Shatrath. So once you've unlocked Marulu's daily, make sure your leveling character is parked right next to him. So basically the procedure is to complete all five of these dailies on your main character, then you log into your leveling character, pop your XP potions, and turn in the quest to Marulu who should be right in front of you. After that, turn in the remaining four quests through your quest log and immediately log out to preserve the duration on those XP elixirs. And that's basically it. You pretty much just do that over and over until you reach the level you want to reach. There are ways you can optimize this. First is to make sure you have all of your heirlooms equipped. The heirlooms that give you XP are the helmet, the shoulders, cape, chest, pants, and rings if you have them. Also make sure that these are leveled up to 100 or else they'll stop giving you that XP bonus once you outlevel them. You can also grab the Dark Moon Fair Carousel buff before you start. You get this by riding on the carousel whenever the Dark Moon Fair is in town. It gives you a bonus 10% experience gained, and it has a duration of 60 minutes. And just like the elixirs, this retains its duration after you log off. This method is better suited for the later levels. You can go all the way from 1 to 100, but since the earlier levels go so fast anyways, this method sort of loses its value in that range. As I said, I leveled a character all the way from level 60 to 100 using this method. Here's some data to give you an idea of the speed of this method. This is with full heirlooms minus the rings, both XP elixirs, and I also have the Dark Moon Fair Carousel buff. Obviously, since it relies on daily quests, you're going to be limited to doing this once a day. 
I did keep track of my XP gains and it took me a total of 58 runs to get my character from late 60 all the way to level 100. So like I said, it's not the fastest method out there, but considering how much effort it took, it's basically a free level 100. And it's a nice alternative to the old questing shtick. Like I said, it is better suited for the later levels like 90 to 100 since those take the longest to grind out. As you can see here, I gained just about one level per run until level 85, which is when the elixir of the ancient knowledge wears off. To give you an idea of how many elixirs you'll need, I used two elixirs of the rapid mind from 60 to 100, and I had six minutes left on my second one by the time I dinged 100. So that's 40 levels and 24 minutes of elixirs as long as you're speedy at turning in those quests and logging off really quickly. You can also speed up the actual daily running a bit. I like to run them on my mage with my hearth set to booty bay. This way I can quickly teleport to each of these NPCs and complete it as fast as possible. The pet I like to use is the Weebomination because it has an AoE cleave that just burns through these lower level pets. For Marulu I like to use the Dread Hatchling and Zufu. But since you outlevel his pets anyways, I'd imagine that just about anything would work. In total, it takes me around 5 to 10 minutes to complete all 5 of these dailies, including the load times and such, so it's pretty fast. The only unfortunate thing is that the Horde are pretty much left out on this method. They only have one of these account-wide quests, bringing them to a total of 2, including Marulu. In case you still want to try, though, the Horde NPC is Degra the Fierce, located at 5953 in the Northern Barrens. And of course you have to finish the Taming Kalimdor achievement to unlock her daily quest. But I guess that's all I have to say. Go ahead and give this method a try. It's a really different way to level that requires very little effort aside from unlocking all of those dailies I guess. But once you do it, it's really worth it. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it. And if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Good luck and peace.